Why hello there viewers. This video is a video response to Charlie so cool like to this video. You may have heard of him, I don't know, I'll put a link in the doobly doo. Uh, hi, my name is Daniel Jordan Franklin and I'm 20 years old. But you may also know me as Vitamin Deej, so please do call me Deej, I do prefer it. In the real world, I'm an admin assistant. But on the internets, I'm a YouTuber. Although you can kind of link the two of them together now, because... I made YouTube partners! <laughs> So if any of you are kind of like creative types and fancy making me some banners and stuff like that, you, you know, you get credit for it. I began making YouTube videos in the summer of 2009 and I haven't really looked back since. Other than quite a few breaks where I've had complete vlogging block, but you know, we'll ignore that. And my first proper video, which is still on my channel, is called Sex on the Bus, so, you know, link in a doobly-doo for that if you want to check that out. It's quite fun to see how far I've come or how little I've progressed, you know, who knows. You might be a hater, so, uh, haters gonna hate. Stop hating! Now, why did I begin? That's a very good question. It actually all started when I first discovered Shane Dawson. I liked what he was doing and I thought, you know what, I kind of want to get in on that, so I bought a camera. The very camera that I'm using right now. Though I would like a DSLR very soon. It's what all the cool kids use. So I'm not cool. But I'm a partner! You're still not cool. Oh. Okay. Right. This is awkward. So, my real job as an admin assistant, what does that entail? Oh, not a lot really. I match posts to files. I do filing. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But hey, the money's good, so I can't really complain. Oh, I kind of can, actually. I'm going to be losing my job at the end of next year. So hopefully I can be a full-time YouTuber then. Deej, this is for you when you're watching in the future. Do not get your hopes up. You got to be realistic, brother! I am not my brother. I am actually myself. I talk really weird sometimes, don't I? Anyway, so why do I YouTube? Well, at first it was to get over, you know, how shy and, you know, how little self-esteem I had. But now it's just my chance to be creative for once, which I've never had an outlet to do. Nor have I ever even been creative before. So even though I'm not popular on YouTube yet, YouTube has completely changed my life. Okay, Deej, enough of the sentimental bullshit, just get to the fun stuff, okay? Isn't it weird when you can argue with yourself? That's kind of weird, right? Could also mean I'm schizophrenic. So as of right now when I'm filming this video, I'm hovering just over 1,030 subscribers. Which to me is a massive number. MASSIVE! Massive. It is a big number, yeah. I mean, when you really think about it, it's kind of weird to think like, wow, over a thousand people actually want to watch my content. That's kind of weird. I mean, for me personally, it's kind of weird because no one's ever really wanted to pay that much attention to me before. So what kind of opportunities has my YouTubing you know, led to? You know what I just realized? It's kind of like I'm interviewing myself. It's not really helping with the rumor that I just started myself in this video that I'm schizophrenic. It's bad enough to make rumors up about anyone, but about yourself? Wow. So, yeah, what opportunities has it led to? Well, just last month I got invited to a YouTube event called Becoming YouTube Stars. Got to learn all about YouTube, it gave me really helpful hints and tips, it was really good. And I like to think that because of that it kind of helped me become a partner, so... Thank you. So what opportunities could my YouTubing lead to? Well, I mean, I'd love to have my own TV show. Either that or presenting something, that would be kind of cool. I suppose since I've started YouTubing, I've kind of got an interest into acting. Not that I claim to be a really good actor. In fact, I'm quite terrible. I've seen my performances. But I don't care. It's really fun, especially when you're doing sketch comedy. So if there's anyone watching that has any creative control towards BBC3 or E4, then, you know, get in touch, please. I mean, that probably won't happen. I mean, how many Bristolians do you see on TV? And as for people that are watching my videos that don't make videos but kind of want to, just start making videos. That's what I did, I just went with a random topic that happened to me or what I was thinking, and I just shot it. As long as the viewer can see you okay and the sound is good, of good quality, and if your editing is, you know, okay, mine's not anything special, and then just upload it, share it around to, you know, any social networking sites you're on, and just keep doing it. So thank you for watching. If you liked this video, then click subscribe up there somewhere above my head. And if you also liked it, then there's the uh, thumbs up button down there and the ads favorite. It might be the other way around. I don't know. If you would do that for me, that would really help me out a lot. You know, it keeps me motivated and all that, you know, nice stuff. Yeah. What? So this weekend I'll be filming a, uh, something. <laughs> so this weekend I'm going to be recording part of a collab video, which I'm going to be putting on my channel in a couple of weeks. So look out for that, that's why you should hit that subscribe button up there. All my links to my Twitter, Facebook, Daily Booth, all that stuff is in the doobly doo, please check that out. Until next time, I will bid you good night, cause it's the evening here. No, I don't know why I sounded like a news reporter either. How's weather, Ollie? Looks like logo! Yeah, okay, that was kinda cheesy, but you know, it pays homage to Family Guy, so who can complain to that?